The notion of scaffolding is something that early childhood teachers know a lot about. They know that it's part of their job to be there to support as children are learning uh, new skills and new understandings. But it's also important for us as early childhood teachers to know just when to apply the appropriate type of su support and scaffolding. So when to use a language, when to actually intervene and model, um, and when to be engaged in quite explicit front loading. Um, and by this I mean that we might in fact actually provide all sorts of uh, ways of engaging with a context, um, all sorts of new learning, ready for children to take that forward into their own explorations as they inquire and engage in problem solving uh, in order to learn new things. Scaffolding something that professional teachers know is about providing the appropriate support at the appropriate time. It's not just a matter of teaching somebody how to do something and then letting them go to practice. We might move in, we might move out. We want spaces where children can engage themselves um, and think about learning, take risks, learn new things. And then we want spaces where they are in fact engaging both with other experts, children and adults, in ways that provide support around their learning that allow them to engage in ways that they might not be able to to do by themselves. I want to make sure I get my thinking right because their numbers are getting a bit bigger. So because they're getting bigger I sometimes get a bit confused. So let me go back. I'm going to start again and check and see how I'm going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The next number I think is eight. Yep. Can you see how when I get a bit stuck I just go back and start counting again and that helps me think about the sequence and the order of the numbers. After we'd done the whole class part of the lesson I did split the children into separate groups and they were um, differentiated groups so I did have my my lower level learners to an average group through to my top end my high flying kids and so each activity was targeted to that level of learners. My lower level children, I worked with them, I took them outside, recognising that those kids had had a fair bit of time sitting on the carpet. They're the ones in particular that needed to be out and moving. So we were outside, we were moving about, and I was able to help them to sequence the numbers through to 20 while they're having the opportunity to actually get a bit physical as well. 14. We need 17. We do it the other way, so move the 20 here and then it goes that way. Not. I think. Last one. Thank you. What? Done. The children working on the carpet were my higher flyer children who I know can sequence numbers to 20. They would have been able to jump through the hoops without too much thought. So I wanted to see how much further they could take this. Scaffolding is really important in the early years. It helps to, um, again, it's developing the children's confidence. It's, it's giving them step by step the gradual release to them being able to do it themselves.